The 2018 flood largely happened, uh, one, because of, you know, every so often because of weather conditions, you get an event like that. But at the same time, it was recognized regionally that we needed to invest some resources into adapting the Kankakee and Yellow Rivers to the modern age. My dad actually bought this farm in 1973, so it's um, since high school that I've been uh, on this piece of ground. In 2018, when we had three breaks in the levee, just the construction costs to, figure, to repair those three breaks, the total bill was over $150,000. The new commission adopted a 40 year work plan about how we were going to mitigate flooding but also reduce sediment erosion. That is why we engaged Stantec in order to begin to redesign these stream banks. Our first priority is we're trying to reconnect in areas that's possible the river with its historic floodplain. Sometimes we're able to accomplish that through outside bank grading and inside floodplain grading. And then it, through a process of um, you know, native seed, vegetation, and, and using erosion control blanket, that's, that's our first line of defense. Once we've gone as far as we can it, um, in terms of uh, bank grading, we do rely upon certain structures for additional support. The primary structure that we're using is towwood. So what we're doing there is we're taking the very trees that we're sometimes having to um, remove as a result of the grading that we're doing anchoring those into the banks that we're stabilizing. We've got J-hook structures, uh, glide structures that are there, a number of cross veins that are used throughout the, the project, and some select locations stone toe. And we're trying to lean away from just using rock. I mean, we have banks on this system that are 40 and 50 foot tall, primarily sand banks. So we're hoping to provide a little bit more structure. Even in those areas where it is primarily rock that we're incorporating, we're trying to introduce vegetation by getting seed to grow within the rock, by doing uh, live stake plantings, bare root plantings, trying to build what is a resilient stream system, one that has an ability to move and adapt to a degree over time. A healthy river system is not getting filled with sand repeatedly. We've got to stop sediment from coming this way and then to our neighbors to the west. There's something in this for everybody. I mean, obviously we have to make sure that our agricultural um, revenue generators and economic engines aren't flooding on an annual basis. Uh, they've been here for over a century and we need to continue to make sure that they're successful. But the neat part is one of the tools of ensuring that doesn't happen is uh, restoration of the, of the natural resource. Folks can relate to the fact that we need to make a, you know, a new generation of, in, of investments to be able to coexist with this historic natural resource.